Alright guys, so today we're going to talk about how you can skyrocket your confidence right here and right now. But first we need to discuss the reason why you don't feel that confident in the first place. And first I need to tell you my story. So when I was younger, I, during the pandemic especially, I just felt like such a loser. I felt like such a bad person in a way. Not bad as in I did anything evil, but just bad as in a garbage person. A worthless person that didn't have many achievements that didn't amount to much that didn't do anything really good with his life and I feel like a lot of people feel that same way as well and if you're here because you feel that way then this video is definitely gonna help you because I feel so much better now I, I just feel like I can be more sure of my abilities because I've achieved things now I've done things in my life I started this YouTube channel and I feel great and I'm just enjoying life so much more that I'm confident and I want that life for you guys as well. And one of the best ways you can do this, one of the best ways you can kill that inner voice telling you that you're not good enough, telling you that you don't deserve things, telling you that you're not, you're not worth anything. The only way to do that is through mindfulness. Now, this is something I learned from a book actually this book so I don't know if it's gonna be <laughs> inverted in the video hopefully not but this book really helped me and the and I know it says that it's about true love but this book actually talks about a big problem that we have which is that sort of overthinking the negative thoughts that enter our mind the negative energies and emotions that we start to have about ourselves most more often than not and one of these things is caused by just our what's the word <laughs> the constant replaying of our bad memories of our failures you know you know how we sometimes just keep thinking over and over again about the bad things we've done the bad habits we have the failures we always keep getting and for example like if you keep getting bad scores in a certain test then you just feel horrible about yourself you feel like you don't deserve success, you don't feel deserving of that. And that really kills your confidence because then you'll start to believe that you don't have the capability to do things, you don't have the capability to talk to people because you're just, you feel below them. And the best way to do, get rid of this is through mindfulness. And in this book, it basically says that our, our emotions and such, they're sort of like a circulation in our body of emotions and energies. Does that make sense? So just imagine that once you feel something, maybe you feel super happy, maybe it's your birthday and you feel happy and you just have that circulation of happiness in your body. Basically, if you have bad circulation, that's very similar to having like an unhealthy circulatory system, right? Maybe you have blocks and like you know those sorts of blocks in your circulatory system but instead of blocks in circulatory system it's like blocks in your emotional circulatory system and basically once you start feeling those negative emotions about yourself once you start feeling bad about yourself and just feeling inadequate that's when those emotions start to clog up your your circulation of energy and that really messes you up that messes up your confidence and it just screws you up when you start to talk to people and you just feel like you're not actually very good enough to talk with them and you don't feel confident in your speech so when you talk you're just super awkward and you end conversations early and just not many people want to talk to you because of that because you lack that confidence and what you can do is practice mindfulness because once you have that once you're mindful of your emotions, once you're mindful of the negative thoughts you're having, immediately you're gonna st it's gonna start to go away. It's gonna start to disappear, sort of like uh, sort of like when you use the I don't know how it works, but sort of like when you use chemotherapy on the <laughs> on like the tum when the tumor is there, you use chemotherapy to get rid of it. It's similar to that. Basically, meditation will get rid of that block they'll get rid of that block of energy and that'll help your circulation just feel much better and that's when your mental health is going to start to improve so much more because 
you fix the circulation. And let's practice some mindfulness right now. Just pause the video and take a good deep breath from your belly. So, when you breathe, make sure to focus on your breath, not on anything else. Just for that one breath, focus entirely on your breath. You want to make sure to be breathing through your stomach first and then bring the breath up to your chest and then breathe it all out. And basically what this does for you is it brings your mind back to the present moment instead of thinking so ne about these all about all of these negative thoughts instead of thinking about the negative emotions about the failures you've experienced instead of just replaying those in your head meditation specifically practicing mindfulness will sort of fade it out fade it away it'll zoom out on your negative emotions and if you think of your negative emotions as a, a photo in Photoshop maybe, in Photoshop, and you have two photos, right? Basically, what mindfulness does is it makes the opacity of your photo close to zero, so that it's not really there anymore. And that'll really help you with your confidence. That's because once you have those negative emotions in check, once they don't bother you as much anymore, you're just gonna feel so much better about yourself. You're gonna feel so much more secure in yourself, so much more confident. And that's why mindfulness is the key. Mindfulness is the key to getting that confidence that you desire so much. With your social interactions with other people, mindfulness is the key. Because when you're mindful, you'll be able to just enjoy your conversations instead of overthinking, am I saying the right thing? <laughs> am I being rude? Am I being annoying? Just be you be confident in who you are and be mindful that your negative emotions don't define you and that you're better than them you can overcome them as long as you keep fighting for a better tomorrow